Residents interested in Council's plans to build detention basins at Barland Drive and Garnet Leamont Parks are invited to provide feedback throughout November. Detention basins will be constructed at the two parks to improve flood mitigation as part of Council's wider Gowrie Creek catchment flood mitigation project. Councillor Carol Taylor said the construction involved redesign of the parks to significantly improve flood protection for Toowoomba, particularly in the CBD. These are conceptual but we're pretty certain that we've got it right. There's been a long look at these, they've looked at different models. We have a 2D model on, on the whole creek system for Toowoomba, that's east and west. and we've. Our hydraulic experts have, and our own experts have gotten together and decided on a way forward for these two detention basins. Now I understand the community have a, a, a great concerns about these two beautiful areas and how they're going to look at the end of that. Council will be taking some trees out of those areas to mitigate the flood events that come down there. This is the headwaters of East Creek, so whilst there's not a problem here, all the uh, water from the roofs and the hard surfaces runs into these creek systems and the impacts are felt further down the creek. So we have to do some mitigation at the top level of these creeks to stop uh, or try to prevent an event like 2011 happening. So uh, there'll be detention basins. Now detention is quite different to retention. So regardless of what has been printed, they're detention basins. They look most of the time like a park, but when there's a large event that'll take hold the top part of the water, the top of it, hold it back until the rest of it's gone and then it'll drain away. So it's not intended that there'd be great bodies of water and the community will only notice when there's a, a large event on and there's a lot of water running into these creeks. So it'll hold that area back and to let the rest of it get away. So most of the time, unless that's happening, it'll be a very usable park. We're going to upgrade those, these, both of these parks. They'll have pl little playgrounds, they'll have uh, cycle tracks, and uh, you know we will be planting two at least for ev trees for every tree we've taken out. Councillor Taylor encouraged the community to get involved and to offer their comments on the draft concept plans. They'll also be available on Council's website. It will be launched on Monday and there'll be a presentation at the South Toowoomba Bowls Club from 5 to 7. I suspect it'll get underway about 5.30. Um, and, and we really encourage people to attend that. There'll be conceptual drawings and the engineers and the communications uh, person will be there to speak to, to the community about that. So they'll lay any fears and they'll have an idea of how it's going to look. They're conceptual plans at this stage, but pretty, pretty much that's how it'll look when it's finished. Detailed design of the basins will be finalised in late January next year with construction due to start in March and completion by October. For further information or to give feedback please phone 131 872, visit Council's website or email info at toowoombarc.qld.gov.au.